Johnny Depp has a long history of high profile relationships, and now that he's fighting to clear his name from harmful allegations made against him by his ex wife Amber Heard, we'll go through 10 celebrities that have dated Johnny Depp and what they have to say about the defamation trials. Number 10 Sherilyn Fenn Sherilyn Fenn is the actress who was at the height of her fame in the early to mid 90s. She most notably played Audrey Horn in Twin Peaks, and she dated Johnny Depp after they met on the set of a student film before he and her were even famous in 1985. They dated for three and a half years, during which she made an appearance on a 1987 episode of Depp's television show, 21 Jump Street. Although they broke up once their schedule started getting busier with newfound fame, Sherilyn has always maintained a positive stance about Johnny being her first true love. While the defamation trials have been going on for weeks now, Sherilyn made her opinion known on May 9th when she tweeted a throwback photo of her and Johnny in the 80s with the hashtag I stand with Johnny. She also retweeted someone who was happy that she was supporting Johnny and wrote, quote, first loves. On Instagram in April, she also shared a throwback photo of the two with the caption, quote, sending love, light, and prayer to John. The courage, honesty, and transparency that he is showing with, he has already won to me. Sherilyn is not shy about her support for Depp, despite having dated all those years ago, and despite having a loving husband, it's really sweet to see. Number 9, Lori Ann Allison. Before Sherilyn, Johnny Depp dated and married a woman named Lori Ann Allison. Although not a lot is known about their marriage, they met in 1983 after Nicolas Cage introduced the two with Lori Ann being his makeup artist. Although, because it was the 80s, some reports state that they met because she's the brother of one of the guitar players in Johnny's band at the time. I'm not really sure to be honest. Either way, Depp was just 20 years old at the time, and the couple got married before divorcing two years later. Lori has stayed resolutely out of the limelight and maintains a normal life, although one article stated that she gave an interview recently coming out to support Johnny Depp. She claims that he is a soft-hearted person who would never have hurt her. Since they divorced back in 2015, Allison has also told an interviewee, quote, while we all know he's a talented actor and can pull off the pirate thing like nobody's business, but he's also an extremely talented guitar player. So you know if she speaks well of him all these years later that they must have quite a bit of respect for one another. Number 8, Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey hit it big as the lead in the beloved romantic movie Dirty Dancing. She was one of the biggest stars in the 80s, and she and Johnny dated for a short time in the late 80s and even proposed to her, but the couple called off their wedding shortly after and she never walked down the aisle. In her memoir released years later, Jennifer called her relationship with Johnny a bonfire. Quote, he was funny and sweet and just so charming and quirky and weird and self-effacing and just so unique and gorgeous and he was obsessed with me and romantic. In an interview with Extra Magazine though, when asked about her opinion on what's going on right now, Grey was sympathetic without giving her opinion. Quote, I haven't known him for 30 years. I haven't talked to him. I haven't seen him. The whole thing makes me insanely sad for everybody involved. These are people who are damaged and continue to damage each other. It's sad. I don't have an opinion, except it breaks my heart. I just knew him in a very different time. Which honestly, very fair. Number 7, Juliette Lewis. Although only dating for a short time, Juliette Lewis reportedly had a fling with Johnny Depp after they met on the set of their 1993 film What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Lewis ended her romance with the fellow heartthrob Brad Pitt to be with Johnny. Although the relationship didn't really excel past any official status, there was no hard feelings because they would publicly reunite at the 2016 Met Gala. The two were pictured smiling together and seemingly very happy to see one another after so long. Although her Instagram is more so being used for joking and sharing goofy reels, she did give an interview with the magazine where she briefly expressed sympathy with Johnny Depp. Quote, I don't want to get too much into it, but honestly, I do feel for him. I hope he finds the outcome he is looking for. Although it's not much, it does show that Juliet seems very much in Johnny's court. Number 6, Winona Ryder. Johnny Depp first met Winona Ryder at the premiere of the 1989 film Great Balls of Fire, although they eventually co-starred together in the Tim Burton film Edward Scissorhands, where they would make it official and begin dating. They would date for quite a few years, and Johnny even proposed to her. Sadly, four years after they began dating, Winona and Johnny called it quits on their relationship. But more than a decade later, in a 2009 article with Elle UK, Ryder called the end of their relationship her quote, first real breakup, the first heartbreak. Ever since they ended their relationship, Winona has looked back on the romance fondly, and during Johnny's libel case against the Sun in 2020, she even wrote a letter to London's High Court, stating quote, the idea that he is an incredibly violent person is the furthest thing from the Johnny I knew and loved. I cannot wrap my head around these 
accusations. He was never, never violent towards me. He has never been violent or harmful towards anybody I've seen. I truly and honestly only know him as a really good man, an incredibly loving, extremely caring guy who was so very protective of me and the people that he loves, and I felt so very, very safe with him. I do not want to call anyone a liar, but from my experience of Johnny, it is impossible to believe that such horrific allegations are true. I find it extremely upsetting knowing him as I do. Number 5. Penelope Cruz Okay, so they didn't date, sorry, but I'm running out of high profile relationships that Johnny Depp has been involved in and I gotta do 10, or I'll be taken in the night in an unmarked van. Just kidding. Either way, I'd call this more of a bromance because Penelope Cruz and Johnny Depp did kind of technically date on screen in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They are also co-stars in Blow and Murder on the Orient Express. She very stoutly declared her support for him on Instagram by stating, quote, I met Johnny when I was 19 years old. He was in Madrid and introduced to me. The only sentences I knew how to say in English at the time were how are you and I want to work with Johnny Depp. Many years have passed and I have not only made three movies with him, but I also count on him as a great friend. I've always been impressed by his kindness, his brilliant mind, his talent and his peculiar sense of humor. I've seen Johnny in so many situations and he is always kind to everyone around. He is one of the most generous people I know. She then went on to absolutely deny that he would ever have harmed anyone and continue to speak highly of her former co-star. Number 4. Paul Bettany Ok ok, Paul is the last on this list that didn't actually date Johnny Depp, but oh man how juicy would it be if he did. I would sometimes call a bromance even stronger than some romances and that is definitely the case with Paul and Johnny. The two have been super close since they met on the set of a movie they were both starring in. Paul even went up to bat for Johnny in court after it was exposed that they had texted about Amber Heard during the downfall of his marriage. Also, all the way back in 2016 when Johnny was still getting a divorce with Amber, he tweeted out, quote, known Johnny Depp for years and through several relationships. He's the sweetest, kindest, gentlest man that I've ever known. Just saying. Number 3. Kate Moss Although her name has been mixed into the legal battle currently going on, Kate Moss and Johnny Depp were once an inseparable item back in the mid 90s after they met in a restaurant in New York City. The relationship wasn't without its drama though, when Depp was arrested after both he and Moss trashed their hotel room. When the police entered, they saw the couple sitting among the debris. It is worth noting though that Kate was completely unharmed. And now, Amber has mentioned that she heard a rumor that Kate Moss was pushed down the stairs by Johnny. But that doesn't really make any sense, because Kate has been nothing but supportive of Johnny long past their breakup. In 2012, Kate told Vanity Fair, quote, There's nobody that's ever really been able to take care of me. Johnny did for a bit. Like if I said, what do I do, he'd tell me, and that's what I missed when I left. I really lost the gauge of somebody I could trust. Nightmare. Years and years of crying. Oh, the tears. I don't know if I'd say that I spent years crying over a man who pushed me down a flight of stairs. Number 2. Ellen Barkin Ellen Barkin briefly dated Johnny, also in the mid 90s, although the two only really got together temporarily and their relationship was short lived. But she may very well say her piece in court as Amber has accused Johnny of throwing a wine bottle at Barkin during their relationship. To be fair, Ellen herself did state that Deb has thrown the bottle at her and she's going to appear in court via video. But her lawyer says, quote, Ellen's testimony will be critical to Heard. Miss Heard needs independent witnesses to corroborate her story. This means that despite admitting that Johnny did throw a bottle at her, Barkin may not take Amber's side when speaking about harm. She could have a whole new side to the story yet to be explained. Number 1. Vanessa Paradis Although they never walked down the aisle, Vanessa was Johnny's longest love. They dated for 14 years and shared two children together. Vanessa is a French model, actress and singer. When asked why he never asked her to marry him, Johnny stated, quote, I never found myself needing that piece of paper. Marriage is really from soul to soul, heart to heart. You don't need somebody to say, okay, you're married. If Vanessa wanted to get hitched, why not? But the thing is, I'd be so scared of ruining her last name. She's got such a good last name. And when speaking about the defamation trial, Paradis remained very loyally on Johnny's side. She stated that she has always, quote, known Johnny to be kind, attentive, generous, and a non-violent person and father. The two still co-parent their children together, and he cites them as the reason why he keeps pursuing legal action to clear his own name. Thanks for watching this video, and just so you guys know, there is a playlist now on the channel with all the videos we've got on the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. Be sure to check it out to stay up to date. I've been your host. Sierra, see you next time.